Hi, this is Lady Lecture UK and this is my Asset Kits of the Month for August 2020. These are Asset Kits that are made generally by one person. These aren't collections of uh, random things from the Dreamverse. Um, these are purposeful made kits. So let's have a look and see what I found. Okay, we have Imperial Sector Building Pieces by Killer Kiff. Uh, this is a, um, a really interesting steampunk gothic uh, kit. So we've got... Um, mechanical doors with um, skull and um, there's lots of skulls involved in in this so this could be used for like sci-fi steampunk um, if we go up to the um, cathedral pieces that we've got like cathedral uh, windows and things these are riveted on this side but it's not riveted on the other so it's got a, um, a different look on the other side if you uh, don't like the rivets we've got some really nice lanterns uh, but this is a really great kit for for making uh, like a gothic cathedral. Um, things like this are really, um, really useful uh, for making up uh, interesting bunkers and um, sci-fi spaceships and that sort of thing. This is good for a dungeon with all the rivets and everything and all the rust. So it's a really nice kit, very versatile. Um, one thing you might um, need to do is if you wanted to use some of these, these these are designed to tile, so they've got um, only one edge has got like the symmetry. So you may need to play about with this a bit in order to get an, a, a symmetrical window, uh, either remove that edge or um, duplicate the object and then remove everything but the edge, that sort of thing. Um, but uh, no, it's a great kit. Uh, lots of really interesting pieces in that and very useful all right our oh, second please. kit is by oh. is by oh, trimming um and it's some voice acting samples cool little girl oh please you're no hero now I... they've obviously um duplicated um they've done it in one um uh, one session and some of these samples do not match the actual words so oh, this one's called what's wrong you scared what's wrong you scared um which is not the sample you get when you hover over oh, it please. oh please you You're get no oh please which is I'm, oh, please. one of these somewhere no hero. this is something you need to watch for i'm pretty um, sure um when you're making samples like this that, that they match the actual <laughs> that the sample actually matches what your asset is oh please you're i expected better from you i expect better from you it's really cool i really like it oh, um please. cool little girl telling you off if you die in your game is quite funny um um and it, it's, a, it's a great voice really good voice acting very nicely done so oh, have, please. have a look at those if you're wanting to put in a little girl's voice Here's some trees. Um, these are by Anime Boy 0021. Lots of beautiful trees. There's an ash tree there. Look at that. It they are a little high at six percent. Um, and now let's see what happens with the gameplay thermo. Uh, I'll just copy this tree a few times. And have a look at the thermo. Excellent. So this doesn't add to gameplay thermo, which is really good, which is what you want for a tree. It's a beautiful tree. Like I say, 6% is a little high, but, you know, I've copied it a few times now, and as you can see, it stayed at 6%. So um, it, as long as you're willing to take a 6% hit, this would make a really lovely park tree. And there's loads of them. They're all really nice. Um, I think they've um, used reference photographs of actual trees. So these are accurate to what these actual trees look like. They're not just fantasy trees. So I think uh, you're making a park or a forest or something. Uh, it'd be really lovely to use some of these. Midwestern trees. Very nice kit there. Um, had to put the Castellonia kit in. Um, 
uh, there's a whole video on this, so I'm not going to go and, and, and look at it all. Um, but thank you again to everybody who took part in this, and we will be doing another asset kit uh, near the end of the year. I've also got a, an idea for a challenge for Halloween, so... Um, and I don't know whether to set, set it off in September or wait until October. Um, might be nice if the kit's ready for the spooky season. Um, so I might do it in the next few weeks. We'll see. Um, Oriental Ornaments now. Um, this is a kit by Fuxfua82. Um, we got some really nice uh, mosaic tiles. It's all done with little squares. Look at that. There we are. Um, sort of a Moroccan view on that. Um, and now, there's lots and lots of squares. Let's have a look at the uh, thermo on it. Right. Here is where we have the problem. Um, as you can see, it's very high in gameplay memory. And if I was to put a couple of these down... We've now gone up to 79%. So it's not really that feasible to use. Um, graphics thermo is nice and low, but gameplay thermo, massive. So it's going to be awkward to use this particular prop. And it's a shame because they're very nice, but um, but really, really difficult to use um, because of the way they've been met, made. Let's remix this one, have a look, the situation. Yeah, high in gameplay thermo, and that, that is a problem for assets. It's not just the graphics that you need to look at, it's also the gameplay thermo. Because if I wanted to make, say, a grid of these, look what the gameplay thermo is doing. It's it's it It makes it almost impossible to use, because what they've done is they've cloned a single um, cube so if you wanted to make something like this instead of cloning a cube what you do is you stamp down lots of cubes like this now the graphic thermo on this is going to go up but the gameplay thermo isn't so you, your, your graphics thermo is gonna you're gonna have to be do it a combination of cloning groups of multiple squares like this um, rather than cloning hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of squares it's, it's really difficult to uh, do I wanted to show this kit um, because um, they're beautiful they're really nicely done but um, it's, it's important to, to, to know that um, assets like this, made in this way, are just not usable. Um, it is a shame. So if there's a way, of make, there is a way of making this style of thing um, that doesn't affect the gameplay thermo. But there we are. Right. Coral reef assets. These are a reef kit by Sooty Pinions. These are beautiful and colourful. So if you're making an underwater scene, you've got these amazing props that you can put in. They look fantastic. Look how well they are coloured in and got the animation on them and everything. Really nice. Um, I didn't check the thermo on that. 1%. Barely anything. Perfect. Um, there's a nice spiky coral there, another one there, a rock, We've got a starfish and um, whatever that is, sea urchin -y thing? I'm not quite sure what that is, but uh, that looks fantastic, look at those, beautifully done, so really nice sea kit there. To make a coral reef. Tranquility Assets by Slycat02. Um, this is a selection of sort of unrelated objects, really. Um, but they are very nice. So we've got a we've got a big cake. Look at that. Berry cake and plain cake bases. 
really, really high in thermo. So um, we're going to have to do something about this. Um, it's not that hard to get this down. Just give it a quick tweak. So when it's graphic thermo that's the problem, it's really easy to optimise uh, a prop to make it more useful. Let's see what we're down to. We're down to 19. And because it's a squishy cake, a little bit of softness isn't going to hurt it too much. There we go. What are we at now? They are 10%. See, makes a huge difference. It's quite it's extraordinary. And that doesn't look any different. That's a lovely juicy berry cake that you could use. So um, always optimise your, your props, especially if you're going to make a collection like this. Um, because people can't use them if they're 30% thermo. There's some budgery guards there. Look at those. Aww. Uh, got a bubble bath with sound. There we are. That's a really nice effect. So, nice little eclectic um, collection of... Uh, Maybe it was a game called Tranquility, I don't know. Or uh, uh, maybe these are all related to relaxing. I guess they are, actually, looking at it. Relaxing things, cups of tea, fountains, a swing. Let's have a look at the swinging bench. Hoo hoo. Very nice. And it swings. <laughs> Right, next one. Uh, Barry Blobfish Outfit Pack by Zakinator6. If you haven't come across Barry Blobfish before, where have you been? Um, this <laughs> this, uh, this character sort of cropped up, I think, in early access. Possibly beta, I'm not sure. Um, and now we've got um, Barry Blobfish in silly co costume. So here, is, here he is, au naturel, so to speak, with his bow tie. Now we can possess him and... Look, he walks around in a really weird way. <laughs> and uh, and here are some costumes. So we've got... Um, what's this one? This is Llama Barry. This is Barry in his llama costume. <laughs> I think it's cool. I love it. Here we are. Incognito Barry. I don't know. That looks like... Um, that's Rambo Barry, isn't it? That's... <laughs> That's, that looks like Rambo to me. I think that's quite funny. Uh, here we are. Gamer Barry. With his cat ear headphones. I think it's fun. It's just fun to have fun things. Um, talk about fun things. Here are some imps by... Um, I can't do... Lads 280502. Um... These are lots of imps, and it says if you want your imp made, just ask me. Um, and here is a collection of uh, various ones. Yeah, this is Penny Jane Dam's imp. And if we go in, there we go. Really nicely made. Uh, you made one of mine. That says uh, I've got I've got a, a blue imp. It's nice, nicer than the blue imp I made. I made a really rubbishy looking one, but then again. It was supposed to look rubbish. It was supposed to be, like, meant to be for a fate thing. So th th these are really good. So you can ask him uh, to make your imp for you if you need it for a project. And it's nice to have um, a, a sculpt of your uh, imp to use. Really nice. Right. So just send a message to him and he'll make your imp. Right, 8-bit scoring pack now. Dr. Bazinga. So we've got 8 bit. 8, eight bit noises, which are really useful. Um, some of it is. Uh, whole pieces of music, some of them are 
were just little snippets of uh, you know you died type things i think they're really really nicely done um chippy hero pixel showdown um making um eight bit music is uh, is an art in itself and this is a nice collection so if you make an 8-bit game, you might want to look at that. Right. Wall Land now by Tetsudama Ukami. Uh, it's a, a, a big collection of various pieces. So we've got uh, various walls, painted walls that you can use. There we go. That's really nice if you're making an indoor, like a mansion or something. It's got wallpaper and wooden flooring let's have a look and see what the thermo is like on that one percent incredibly useful um then we've got uh, just just an awful lot of different wallpapers on these on these walls um and then we've got um some weird pixelated walls that look really cool um so it's a collection of walls, basically. A collection of wallpaper and walls. Um, here we've got some stone walls. They're all really, really nice. Um, some have got hot uh, window frames. And over here we've got... Uh, look at that. 18th century style window piece. That looks absolutely gorgeous. So if you want in a wall... Um, and you don't want to spend some time making it yourself you want something with some wallpaper then here we go try wall land lots and lots of walls uh, our next one is ivan 32's prop pack um again a little sort of eclectic mix of stuff and um, there's things like this which is very nice uh home porch you can put that on the side of your house looks very good Um, uh, we've got um, a whole house here. Let's have a look and, and see what the thermo is on like on this. Yes, yeah, quite high, but then again, um, this is a big part of um, a set, I would imagine. Um, I don't know if it's got interior. Let's just no, it doesn't have interior. It's just an exterior house, but it's uh, very nice. Looks like it's. He says it's my house, so uh, maybe it is his house. That's what it looks like. Uh, you can always take this apart if you uh, want little bits. I mean, he has, obviously, the porch is separate. We've already seen that. Um, uh, and we've got the screen door here. There's a separate thing. We've got a porch mailbox there. Um, busted window blinds. Interesting idea. So, yeah, a nice, interesting collection of things. Um, like I say, some of them are a little bit thermo heavy, so you might have to tweak them a bit to make them useful, but uh, they're very nicely made. Right, sector project now from Singer Dart 006. Um, lots of text. Um, <laughs> they are uh, making an MMO FPS. Now, um, making making mmos in a game that a doesn't have multiplayer and b when it does will only have four players in it it's pretty ambitious <laughs> but i thought the characters were really cool um let's have a look at the uh showcase level here look at these i think they're really interesting characters i think they've got um personality really cool they've all got different weapons they're all, they're all slightly different um, and all of these characters are available here look there's slim let's see if we can possess slim there he is uh, he has no animation and he doesn't have his weapon so you can do what you want with him I mean they're simple but I think I think they're nicely done and then, then we've got a selection of um, guns now obviously the guns were the thing that was really uh, 
interesting singer dart here. Um, lots of really, really good looking low poly guns. But that ideal for um, any sniper related game that you wanted to do there. Very cool. Lots and lots of guns. So uh, check this out. Um, all of it usable. Um, and um, it'd be interesting to see what he actually ends up making because obviously you can't make an MMO. It's one of the things you can't do in dreams. Uh, Japan kit by Ramki Bandazuka. So um, we've got this is lovely. Look at this. Japanese porcelain decorative statue. Something to put on the sideboard. I love it. I think it's really nice. Um, we've also got a Japanese flag, um, which is not just a flag. It moves, look. Got wind movement on that flag, which is cool. Uh, these are nice. These little, little statues. Uh, you stick that, you know, along a path or something. I think they're lovely. And we've also got painting here. Japanese girl. With um, her boobies out by the look of it. Let's not, let's not look at that too closely. Um, yeah. Really nice Japanese items that you can put in your home. Or um, make a whole Japanese set. Very nice. Right, we have a wooden train tracks collection here by Nake4. Now, we're waiting on uh, John, John Beach... Johnny Beach's uh, train set. I don't think he's launched it yet. Um, so somebody else has had a go, and these are cool. Look at the look at these. Um, look how he's done this. I think that's amazing. Let's um, let's remix it. And we can take it. Can we take it apart? Look at that. How beautifully done is that? <laughs> um, really, really good. Um, so, if you can't wait for John Beachy's train set, which I don't think is live, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's not. No, we're going to go check it out in a minute uh, after after what I've said. Um, let's have a look. Uh, uh, let's see. We can't look. Hang on. We'll, we'll come out of this. Anyway, very nice. The um, all the all the train tracks and everything really nice. The, the the wood grain and everything is really really beautifully done. Uh, let's just go hunt and see if. Uh... Oops, I've leveled up. Um, let's see if we can. Uh... Look for the architect and see if he's launched his his train set. Nope, not yet. No, nope, train set is not launched yet. I didn't think it was. <laughs> Just wanted to check. Right, let's go back in. Right. So, um, if you if you can't wait for for, for Johnny Beach, then um, here is some wooden train tracks to get you going. Make your own um, track and racing game. Simple numbered coin collection now from Cube Math. Just something simple. I mean, nothing complicated, nothing, you know. It's just nice and simple. And look at that collectible coin. It's, it's very nicely done. The number looks really coolly done. It spins. It's exactly what you want. Let's have a look at the size of it. It's only 1% graphics, which is what you'd expect. There you go. Easy. Collectible coin. It adds 10 to your counter. It's got uh, it's got some um, logic in there. Let's just have a quick look at the logic, see what it does. Uh... What does it do? Um, okay. Oh, this uses its own trigger zone for collecting stuff. You might want to change that about. But uh, it's got um, 
noises when you collect it it destroys itself and it adds to a score modifier um called coins so there we go it's all in inbuilt and they've all got different numbers on there i think it's very nicely done there we go and there's a a scene with them all in there they are things like this that just little things that um makes things life easier for people i think it's nice to make simple things like that all right this is chavez 37's 2020 collection and this is a collection of a collection this is a huge collection of stuff and um i can't possibly show you everything but you got here is some stairs such as this um just simple stairs that you can you can put in um here we've got some windows again we've got we've got these like thick windows so there's a lot this week um not this month to um to help you with uh, your cathedral building certainly uh we've got trees um we've got fencing structural supports and accents these are really useful these type of things um you can make all sorts with those railings railings are very very good um put them on sides of buildings you can put them um uh, around bridges and things like that excellent so really good kit it's it's got tons and tons of stuff in here it's well worth a look so um this is what he's been making in 2020 and it's all the collections here so check out Chavez uh, is a whole collection so there we go that's the asset kits of the month that I, uh, that I chose if you make asset kits and you'd like me to see it then please send it to me using the send to link and I will definitely check it out uh, there is a link in the description to this asset kit if you would like to look at, at these a little bit further uh, otherwise I'll catch you in your dreams <laughs>